वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी बराना इन टुडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू कॉन्फ़िगर सिस्को कॉल मैनेजर फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ आई मैजिकल कॉल रिकॉर्डिंग देयर आर फोर टू फाइव स्टेप्स टू कॉन्फ़िगर ऑन द सिस्को कॉल मैनेजर फॉर एग्जांपल द फर्स्ट थिंग आई विल क्रिएट अ सिप सिक्योरिटी प्रोफाइल देन आई विल मेक अ सिप रिकॉर्डिंग प्रोफाइल देन आई मेक अ ट्रंक एंड देन आई विल डू सम ऑप्टिमाइजेशन रिलेटेड विद द कोडक from the system parameter and finally i will configure this profile and trunk on the phone line and then we will test the recording on the i magical server side this is my cisco call manager i will log in to my cisco call manager publisher as a first step i will go in the system and i'll go to the security profile sip trunk security profile okay as such there is no uh, sip security profile available for the i magical so i will create a new profile add new i'll put the name profile i'll make it identical okay i magical sip trunk security profile and same thing i will do with this one the options which i have to select over here that is this one and this one only and i have to change the port number okay this is the communication port in between i magical server and my cisco call manager simple there is no such other configuration which i have to do it i will make it safe the next step i'll go to the device device setting and sip profile okay again i'll create a new sip profile the name should be identical so i will make it same as i magical call recording sip profile same thing i will do for this one and the options which i have to select it the first option i will select over here let me check yes i have to change time interval and retry in white so this one i will do it as a 5 seconds and this one i will do it i believe as a One second or maybe three second. I will do it as a one 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 second. Okay. After that, I believe there is another option. Let me check. Yes, this one I will enable, and this one I will change to ten second, and this one I will change to five seconds and re uh, ping read write uh, count is. 3 seconds okay basically uh, this uh, uh, ping options are optimization part because finally my trunk will be resync and it have to be reachable as per i magical setting okay so i believe that is that is all and i will save this one okay now i'll go to the trunk one i'll go device i'll go to the trunk and i will create a new trunk in between my cisco call manager and i magical server so i'll make it add new trunk it will be sip trunk i'll make it next i'll make it i magical magical sip trunk okay i magical sip trunk okay i just put yeah and uh, device pool i will select it common device profile i will select this one call classification i have to make it on the on network and media resource already created so i will select this one okay another thing we have to select uh, on this page is run on all active unified cm because i have publisher and subscriber so i have to select this option after that i will just go down and come to the sip information on this one i will mention my uh, i magical server address and the port will be 5070 for the trunk and uh, i will create uh, select this sip trunk security profile which i have created in the previous step and also sip profile okay so i'll make it i magical this one sip profile i'll make it i magical call recording sip profile and dtmf signal method i have to select as rfc2833 so guys also uh, note one down that whatever options i am selecting this is required 
on the iMagical side as well. Because in the iMagical server side, this is already configured. So make a successful communication. I have to follow this one. Okay. And uh, I believe there is uh, nothing more things to be to be done. And I will just select this one as safe. Okay. Device name should be contain the value tracker. Okay, let me do this one as a iMagical. There should not be any space. And uh, let me connect the spell iMagical. Okay, so this is done now. Now in the next step, I will do something related with the optimization. So I have to enable and uh, disable some codecs. So I'll go to the system. I'll go to the service parameters. From here, I will select my active call manager and uh, I will select as my Cisco call manager. I'll go down somewhere around here. So I'll go on this page cluster wide parameter system local and region okay from here i i will work with this g711 these options i have to select it so i will enable this one this one i will also enable this one i will also enable this one i will also enable and this one i will also enable and this one i will keep it enable for all devices except recording Enable device. Okay, so these options you have to be enabled. Remaining, just keep it as it is. There is one thing more related with the with the tune. Let me check over here. That is related with the recording. Let me select as search. Okay. Yes, these two options we need to make it true. What it's saying exactly? Play recording notification tune to be observed target and play recording notification tune to be observed connected parties. What happen if I enable these two one? Normally, practically, uh, you did not enable these two options because when I will test a call recording feature, I will get a tune inside my uh, inside while I'm calling while I'm talking to other person. So normally, uh, you did not enable these two options, but uh, in some environment, you have. Uh, requirement to enable this one and especially for me because I am doing a configuration I and uh, I have uh, to do a practical for this one so I'm going to select these two options so you will get a tune while I'm calling from my extension to my outside call or from my outside call to my inside call okay so normally uh, you do not need to enable this one but for my uh, myself I'm going to enable this one so uh, that is uh, that's it is So I'll make it safe. Okay. Now I have to create a route pattern. I'll go to the call routing. I'll go to the route pattern. Okay. And I will create, add a new route pattern. My route pattern will be 8500. Okay. So I'll select this one as internal partitions. And uh, from here, I will just select the gateway route list of my trunk okay i magical sip trunk i believe there is uh, nothing more options which we have to select it call classification is off net is already here so uh, nothing more i believe i will save this one okay guys so this is also done now finally we need to create a recording profile I'll go to the device and from here, I believe is a recording profile. Yes, this is the recording profile. Okay. I do not have profile at this time. So I'll create a recording profile. Call recording profile. Okay. And the partition I will select as internal CSS and my destination will be 8500. Safe. So this is done. Let me check for uh, one thing when I created a trunk. Is it take? Yes, SIP trunk, it's automatically take this route pattern because I have associate here. Yes, okay, because of my 
this profile setting. So this is done as well. So now I will do one thing. I'll go to my phone setting because right now I have created the configuration, but I did not associate these profiles uh, with my phone line. Okay. So uh, if I uh, associate this profile with my phone setting, then the call recording feature will be enabled. So what I'll do here, I'll just go to the directory number and I'll go to my extension. This is my extension. Only two or three steps I have to do on this page. I'll go on uh, built-in bridge. Okay, this one I have to select it as on. And then I have to save this one. And uh, I'll go to my line setting. And in the line setting, I will select these profiles. This is the profiles, okay? Recording option, automatic call recording enable. Number one, second thing, recording profile. I magical call recording, that's it. Okay guys, our part is done on the Cisco call manager as well. I will make reset and restart my phone. That's it. So guys, we have done the configuration on the Cisco call manager is done on the iMagical is done high availability is done so finally uh, we are going to test this feature on our line so i'll go to my iMagical server so guys this is my iMagical uh, server uh, let me show you something related uh, with the with the with the configuration of the phone line okay i have selected triple eight zero so uh, just i will customize it and i will select my name is exactly okay so this is my extension where i have configured the call recording profile and let me show you something over here uh, let's view i will view from this way okay so uh, this is the username for my because this information basically is coming from my call manager if you remember in the previous uh, uh, previous episode i have configured uh, the iMagical server to get the information for the users from my call manager. So what's happened exactly, my call manager is configured to get the information from my LDAP. And uh, uh, on the iMagical side, I have configured my iMagical server to sync with my call manager instead of my LDAP or my uh, contact list in my domain. So this is the way uh, this all information is visible over here. So only thing which I have to change it, that is the extension number because this is not the exact extension. This is the, uh, the full number. So I will just remove this part and keep this extension. Okay. Remaining things, I will not change it. Keep it is my email addresses, everything. And uh, I will save this configuration this way. Okay. So uh, this is my call recording at this moment. This list is empty because I did not initiate any call. And uh, this is my uh, secondary uh, high availability server. There is no log as well on this side. So what I will do now, I will initiate a call from my IP phone extension to my, my phone and I will see the recording. Okay, the call is coming. I will select this one. And I believe you hear the tune. After every 15 seconds, the tune will appear in between the call and it will record as well. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, testing. Hello, hello, iMagical, iMagical call testing. Okay, so I make a call for around uh, 20 seconds. I will drop it now. And uh, I will do one thing. I will just refresh from here. Okay. So you see guys, immediately my recording is done. Uh, this arrow is showing as outgoing, red color mean outgoing uh, from my uh, IP phone to some other number. And uh, this is the date, this is the duration around 22 seconds. This is my name, this is my extension. And this is the remote party number that on which number I made a call. And then there is recording ID and so and so. Another thing from here, I can select in and out as well because in I did not make any inside call only the outside call is uh, showing over here. So I'll keep it as all. And now I'll make a call from my phone to my same extension.
Okay, I receive a call. And the tune is visible. Hello, hello, one, two, three, four. Hello, testing, testing. Hello, 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 hello. This is a medical server testing. Okay, guys. So I will drop this call and let's see what happened here. I will refresh it. Okay. So before I make outgoing call and now it is incoming. It's showing as incoming. And same time it is showing as a date duration. Again, the same extension uh, from uh, the, the, the phone number is this one. Remote party is this one. So this is the one. Okay. Even if I do even a one second call or two second call, it will record as well. I'll show you this one as well. Only for one second call. Okay. And I will drop it. I drop this call and you will see it will visible here. See, only two second duration. So guys, did you check the, uh, the beauty of iMagical call recording? How much simple is this setup? And uh, before uh, the iMagical, it was not so easy because there are a lot of expertise required to configure the iMagical call recording. But uh, because of uh, the iMagical server, the recording feature is very easy. Very straightforward. So uh, I will see uh, if there is further things which we can do because there are a lot of things like screen recording, uh, voice analytic. So I will continue uh, those uh, those feature as well in a separate session. But as of today, our work is done. We have done the configuration of iMagical call recording. Uh, start from the installation till we test this feature. I hope you have enjoyed this video. You learn, you have learned something. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and keep in touch. There are much more things are coming very soon. Uh, hopefully, in the in the next few weeks, there is a complete setup is coming on for the Cisco wireless controller configuration. And there is some other uh, videos are coming related with the Palo Alto firewall, and you will see a much more thing. So for these uh, other technologies. Uh, stay tuned with me and uh, subscribe my channel. So until that time, take care. Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye.